Hey, mountain kids, grade level two. You, you're the reptile and amphibian, you herpetologist. Here is one of my favorite herps of all time, the western fence lizard, also known as the blue belly. You can kind of see his blue belly from the below. But that same blue color is actually on his back if you look closely. There is a lot that you can learn by not running and catching them, but just sitting back and observing them and see what they do when we're not catching them. Because they change everything they do because they're trying to survive when we catch them. And they just go docile, which means they kind of um, give up. But when we leave them alone, we can watch them hunt or do different things. We can watch their behavior, ask questions about why they're doing what they're doing and when they're doing it. Yeah, you can see the little spots on his back. There's just so many things to notice about a lizard. Also, I'm looking at probably down its abdomen, there's a big bulge. I'm wondering if this blue belly ate something and it's in its belly right now. I don't actually know. That's another one of my questions. I wonder what it ate. I wonder if that bulge in its belly is food or something else. I wonder if blue bellies blink. You see his eyes kind of close. Oh, that is very cool. Not sure what that was. A little stretch of the neck and the head. Flashing in a little bit of the blue of the belly. A lot to learn, you guys. Look where the stripes are and the bumps are and the colors are. All the cool things about our blue belly neighbors. All right, little herpetologist, get out there. Make yourself wise and strong. And the better we learn about our blue bellies and where they live, the better we can help take care of them. All right. Little zoom in, I'm gonna see how close I can get. There he goes.